Efficiency and energy consumption have been long held criticisms of how the blockchain processes transactions. It's all about how confirmation happens on a blockchain, known as a consensus mechanism. We won't go too in depth on the technical side, but for now, all you need to know is that the way this is handled has a huge impact on the sustainability of cryptocurrencies. What we will give you in this video is a working knowledge of consensus mechanisms, giving you an idea of just how much energy it takes to keep the crypto ecosystem ticking along. Let's get into it. The mechanism for consensus within crypto that allows new blocks to be added to a blockchain and new coins to be minted has traditionally been a system called proof of work. This basically involves a crypto miner ensuring that the mining process is valid and accurate. The problem is that it requires special equipment and a great deal of energy to work, which has raised environmental concerns coupled with having inbuilt limitations. To put it into perspective, a recently published science journal has stated that Bitcoin uses more energy than the entire country of Finland. In fact, the research goes as far as suggesting that the global savings from the move to electric vehicles is being completely undone by Bitcoin's energy use. So what can be done? In probably the most high profile move by any blockchain organization to try and make crypto more sustainable was Ethereum's move to 2.0, otherwise known as the merge. With this upgrade, the Ethereum blockchain completed a shift from the proof of work mechanism I mentioned earlier to a much more sustainable method known as proof of stake. To put it simply, Proof of stake dips into a community of users for a certain token, choosing them to be validators for a transaction. Those that are chosen will be able to earn from the transaction fee. The more you have, or the higher the stake, the larger the chance you'll be chosen as a validator. Basically, proof of stake has computers working together to decide which node or computer validates the next block. It's estimated that Ethereum's merge has cut the network's energy consumption by 99.84%. You're probably wondering, if proof of stake was so great, why isn't everybody doing it? Unfortunately, despite its myriad benefits, proof of stake does have some shortcomings. The most glaring problem is that users have to own cryptocurrencies native to the particular proof of base platform. This means that a blockchain built on proof-of-stake consensus mechanics isn't as readily accessible as it stands. It will require a much higher level of adoption to alleviate much of the concerns around it. As cryptocurrencies become more and more mainstream, there will likely be increased pressure on behemoths like Bitcoin to find a solution to its energy problems. Well, that's all for this one, folks. Thank you to everyone who voted on the next video, What is Web3? So please look out for that. In the meantime, see you at Tidex.com.